Welcome uh, to the Bloom's Art House Dive Into Art premiere event. Uh, welcome to my channel as well. My name is Judy Roffel and I am an encaustic artist. Uh, I specialise in an ancient um, art form which involves uh, painting with hot molten beeswax. So I'm really excited to be sharing a project um, of that with you today. And if you've been following along, uh, you will have come across uh, probably seven other artists today um, and seen the format and the amazing art that the Bloom's Art House uh, team have available and, off and you know on offer and I hope you've picked up some really useful and, and insightful um, information from the event today. You should have seen that there are some amazing prizes on offer. So each of the individual channel artists um, have a prize of £50 uh available uh individually and then additionally on top of that there is a mega prize which uh is to the value of 400 pounds like and subscribe to the artist channel and leave a comment uh on the videos and secret hidden word within each one of the um channel artists videos so you need to look out for those to find your hidden word which will make a phrase so that, as I say, I'll, I'll link up all the details for how it all works below, but uh, but do keep your eyes up because there are some amazing prizes available and on offer in this event. Um, but mo also, most importantly, I just hope you're really enjoying the event. So I'm going to move on to a project now. I'm going to show you um, a way of painting with encaustic wax and uh, we'll take you through a little project um, and I hope you enjoy it. So this is the project that we're working through today. Uh, we're working with natural materials. So this is encaustic medium um, with dried flowers and grasses. Um, so we're kind of going for a very natural element and theme. So we are using encaustic medium, which is beeswax with a Damar resin added, which raises the melting point of the wax a little. It comes in this pellet form um, and you're going to need something to melt your wax in. So I'm using a little arts encaustic craft iron here and a metal container to melt the wax in. You need some natural haired brushes. Don't use synthetic because they will melt and frizzle with the heat. And you're going to need a heat gun or a blowtorch, uh, something which is going to fuse each layer together. And then for my additional colour, I am using pigment sticks, but you could use oil paints or any number of other ways of colouring the wax or just keep it natural. So we're going to start off by warming our board, um, just using the heat gun just to a nice warm base is going to make the wax flow smoother. Um, and then you, you start by adding, th well, three layers of encaustic medium um, and in between each layer you, you need to fuse with your heat gun or blowtorch and what that's going to do is bond one layer of the wax to the, you know, the base and then the next layer of wax and you're basically bonding layer upon layer of wax. So we start by adding three layers of encaustic medium, I'm just keeping it clear here. Um, so I've moved it down to a different angle. You can see slightly better at this angle where I'm applying the wax and the texture and how it, it glides on. So this is the third layer. Look at that. Isn't that delicious? Honestly, this stuff is so satisfying to paint with. Absolutely beautiful. And you can see here where I'm fusing it. So the wax, you'll see it kind of glisten and that's when it's, it's molten enough that it's fusing one layer to the layer underneath. So make sure you go all over your board right the way to the edges and, uh, and give it a really, really good fuse. You can see it goes lovely and molten and glistening. And then as that cools, you'll see that the, the wax will kind of turn, go from that clear see-through and it's gonna kind of cool down and solidify and you'll see that it will kind of go quite um, back to more of a white colour um, and you can, see, you can see that process here and basically that's just the wax cooling. 
So we've got our three layers of wax next uh, and the warm the wax is still nice and warm so we're going to start adding our natural elements now so I'm going to start placing my dried flowers onto the board and I'm really kind of the reason we wanted three layers is so that we can kind of embed those those flowers into some of the wax that's there. So I've worked out my design and next we're going to add some pigments. Uh, I'm using an RNF green gold pigment on this particular colour. It's quite a nice natural colour um, in keeping with the natural grasses that we're using. And so this is just a really simple way of adding some colour really easily. So you want to start adding it onto your board and then just kind of rub it into, into that base layer of wax just to give a bit of colour from in behind. So I'm adding a bit of natural white here as well, just to blend the colour a little bit more, give it a bit more of a natural feel. So basically what I'm doing here is getting a nice base layer of colour down, which we're going to go on and we're going to fuse in a moment once we're ready. And we've added enough colour to kind of give us a bit of a background colour. So every time you add a new layer, you have to remember to fuse. And what that's doing is that's bonding your, so currently we're bonding the pigment into the layer of beeswax below. Um, so we've done that and we're now ready to start adding our dried flowers and grasses. So start by laying them out onto the board. Um, and don't be afraid of adding a few dings and pits in here along the way, because um, we can use those and, and add more, more texture and colour as we go along at this point as well. So yeah, get your design ready, kind of lay it out. And then what we're gonna do is see here is add some encaustic medium on top to kind of really sandwich those dried flowers within the layers of wax. Um, and you can put you know, quite a lot on to hold them into place. So keep doing this and continue to build your picture. So I had all these lovely bits of um, lavender seeds, so I just shook those onto the painting. Some wax is still very warm here and pliable. So by popping these um, on the top and then pressing them down and kind of embedding them into the wax effectively. I'm just using a piece of clear um, cellophane here that I have, but you can just press them in with your fingers. That's not essential. And then we fuse again. So that's basically embedding that, that layer of wax that we've just done into the wax. Um, and now ready to add some more grasses and, and continue building the, the picture. And you, you're going to just keep doing this until you get the, the, you know, you're nearly at the finish that you like. So it's kind of a, a, a rinse and repeat of the process. Keep building, keep building. And then we get ready to fuse again. So let's say each layer fuse. That's the key, key thing with encaustic painting when you're building pictures in this way. More medium and more fusing. So each little piece you do, just, you know, even if it's just a little piece, just remember to fuse. Build, build, build. Okay, so I'm happy with my grasses and flowers that I've added here. So now I'm going to start scratching into the piece and adding more texture and colour. So I'm going to continue adding um, the same green gold that we had at the start. But what I've got, um, what I've done is I've added lots of scratches and indents into the wax. So what I'm doing here is pushing the wax into those indents and then we're going to wipe off the excess. And what that will give us is it will really help to build up lots of texture in the piece. Um, I'm sticking with fairly similar colours, but you can, you know, you can kind of completely go add whatever colours um, you have and 
feel drawn to. Uh, and then I wanted to lighten it up a bit, so I added a little bit more natural white um, paint and pigment to kind of lighten it up a bit, a bit and give it a bit more of a summer feel. So I'm dripping some drips of uh, clear wax on at this point, just again, to, just to add another layer of texture, which I've then fused. And what I'm going to do is add more pigments, which is going to raise and kind of highlight that, those raised bumps that we've just put on. I started adding a little bit of blue to these highlights, but quickly decided that it wasn't sitting well with the colour with me. So uh, the great thing with wax is if you add pigment on and you decide you don't like it, you can just um, wipe it off again. So you can see here I'm moving back to the um, green gold that I was using initially. Um, so continuing to scratch into the wax, add my initials. Whilst the wax is still warm and pliable, we'll just generally do any final little last tweaks before finishing the piece. So I'm just um, scraping any excess beeswax that has uh, dripped down the sides at this point. Uh, I just wanted to keep it quite natural, so I'm not too worried about any drips and drip drizzles. But you can take any excess off. And so I'm just adding a little bit of pan pastel here, and kind of um, which really kind of highlights the texture and the layers of the wax as a final final piece and a final layer here. Then again, one final fuse. I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial and how to create a picture um, with, with beeswax and natural elements. Uh, don't forget uh, to be in with a chance of winning my £50 prize. You need to have liked and left a comment on this video and subscribed to my channel. To be in with a chance of winning the mega prize, you need to have collected all of the hidden words from all of the Blooms artists on this YouTube premiere event today and they need to be submitted over on the Bloom's Art House Dive Into Art page. I want to finish off by saying I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have uh, liked the project and you want to find out any more information, um, I have a wealth of knowledge on my website, which is rtheaven.com. Um, I have online courses that are available which will take you through all, in, in uh, much more depth um, through this these processes. Uh, so yeah, check those out. Um, and again, I'll put the links up below. Take care. Thank you so much for joining and I hope you've enjoyed it.